Hi, I'm Sarah Baya and welcome to my science class. It's another fun and interesting lesson today. In this chapter, we will learn about the different life stages of organisms. In today's lesson, we will be comparing the stages in the life cycle of man, animals, and plants. At the end of our lesson, we are expected to tabulate and identify the different stages in the life cycle of man, animals, and plants. But before we proceed with our main topic, let us review about animals and plants adaptation. Read each statement carefully and choose the best answer about plants and animals adaptation. If you're ready, let's get started! Answer them all correctly. Congratulations! Aside from the rich history and famous tourist attractions, the Philippines is also rich in biodiversity. Our country is a haven for thousands of flora and fauna with each of the country's animals and plants playing an important role in the ecosystem. But many of these species are now facing extinction. Sad to say, the current accelerating rate of extinction of species cannot be attributed to nature but to human activities. Let us protect the richness of our archipelago. Let us save our endangered species before they go extinct. All living things go through changes as they adapt, grow, and develop. Although individual organisms die, no ones replace them, which ensures the survival of the species. During its life cycle, an organism goes through physical changes that allow it to reach adulthood and produce new organisms. Since these changes are common within a species, they can be grouped into stages of development. A life cycle is the sequence of stages an organism such as man, animals, and plants go through from one generation to the next. Your life began when the egg from your mother is fertilized by a sperm from your father and forms a single cell inside your mother's body called fetus. By about 8 weeks, this bundle of cells gradually turns into the shape of the human body and is totally dependent on its mother as it cannot breathe, drink, or eat by itself. After 9 months in the mother's womb, the baby is born. The start of the human life cycle begins after the baby is delivered by its mother to the world.
Babies from birth to one year are also known as the infancy stage. Newborn babies can breathe, suck, swallow, and cry when they feel hungry, cold and hot, or any other uncomfortable situation. This is how they communicate as they still cannot talk. Babies are usually fed on mother's milk. The baby then grows into a child. It slowly learns to crawl and then walk, talk, run, jump, eat by itself, identify things in its surroundings, communicate properly, read, write, make friends, and do many more childhood activities. This stage can be divided into three, toddlers, preschoolers, and primary school children. The child grows into an adolescent through a period called puberty. Puberty usually takes place in the child's teenage years starting from 13 years up to 19 years of age. Adolescents are also called teenagers. During the puberty stage, a rapid growth and changes of the body takes place. This includes changes of the body shape, growing hair on some body parts, and changes in patterns and behavior and attitudes of teenagers. As they change, they become independent in doing their day-to-day -day activities. People who are from age 20 years to 65 years old are called adults. Adults can reproduce, make their own families, and so continue the life cycle. Adults can be divided into three, young adults, middle age, and older adults. When a person reaches 65 years of age, he or she is known as an old or elderly person. The average life expectancy of a person can vary from 70 to 85 years, but it totally depends on the health of each person, as some die before 70 years, whereas some die after 85 years. Human life cycle ends at this stage. Ready for the lowdown on one of the life stages of insects? It all starts when a female insect lay her eggs, usually on leaves or stems of plants. Depending on the species, eggs can vary in shapes and texture. They can be round, oval, or cylindrical, smooth, bumpy, or wrinkled. The time it takes for the egg to hatch can also vary in some species. They will hatch within a few weeks, and in others, they will only hatch once the weather is warm enough. Once ready, the larva leaves its egg home and enters the big outside world. And these little critters have one serious appetite. 
they usually eat their way out of the egg and immediately starts chomping on the leaves of the host plant. During this stage, they shed their skin four or five times and grow many times larger when it emerged from its egg. Once fully grown, the insect forms itself into a pupa or chrysalis, a kind of vessel in which the insect changes into an adult. They usually do this on twigs or safe hidden areas around the host plants. The pupa stage may last a few weeks to several months depending on the species. During this time, a hardened case forms around the pupa to protect it from predators and extreme weather conditions. And inside, the tissue, limbs, and organs of the insect transforms. The result? A wonderful metamorphosized creature. Once the isic is ready to emerge, the case around the pupa splits open. But it's not time for takeoff just yet, as the wings are first wet, soft and wrinkled against its body. The insect waits for its wings to dry, and once fit for flight, this brilliant creature takes to the air and search for flowers to feed on and for other insects to mate with. And that's the cycle complete ready to start all over again. Plants of Life Stages Just like humans and animals, the life cycle of plants describes the different stages of the plants from the beginning of life until the end. Let us understand more about plant life stages. The plant's life cycle starts with a seed. From the outside, seeds are protected by a tough layer called the outer coat. But inside every seed, there is a tiny baby plant known as an embryo. The embryo has a root, shoot as well as the first true leaves. Seeds require proper conditions such as water, correct temperature, and a good location in order to proceed to the next stage. When the proper conditions are met for the seed, it will begin to sprout. The first root begins to grow downward. There are few tiny hairs on the roots which absorbs water and mineral from the soil. The process of sprouting of seed after a period of dormancy is called germination. In the growth stage of plants, a very young plant starts growing towards the sunlight. Plants need sunlight, nutrients, water, and air to survive and grow. Photosynthesis helps the seedling grow into a mature plant. A mature plant has leaves, roots, stems, flowers, and fruits. Parts of plants can become its reproductive part depending on the species. It makes seeds or produces new offspring to make new plants. This stage of plants is called the reproductive stage. Pollination plays a very important role in the life stages of plants. 
Flowers use pollen to make seeds through a process called pollination. Pollen is transferred by the different pollinators such as birds, butterflies, insects, bees, or even wind and humans. When an insect lands on a flower, dust of pollen sticks to its legs or body. As the insect flies to the next plant, it transfers the pollen to the pistil. When the pollen moves from the stamen to the pistil, pollination takes place and seed starts to grow. Finally, seeds get dispersed away to new places and the plant starts again. Seeds can get spread by animals, wind, water, and man. Seed dispersal is the movement, spread, or transport of seeds away from its parent plant. Are you up for some challenge? Our challenge for today is to arrange the following life stages of humans, animals, and plants by writing numbers to show the proper sequence of their life stages. So if you're ready to test your wits, let's start! If you answer them all correctly, congratulations! We have learned today that man, animals, and plants undergo different life stages in order to ensure the survival of their species. So that's it for our lesson today. Don't forget to read more about our lesson in your textbook and module and answer the activities in your worksheets. Once again, I'm your teacher, Sir Abaya. Thanks for listening. See you next time. That's all for today. See you next time.